Hello Gems, today I'm going to be showing you how to get emotes on your VRM model. Now there is a video you can watch before this for how to get your VRM model or a model that's made from something like Vroid Studio into Unity and get that all set up. So that will be a prerequisite for this video. Now here's some emotes that I set up for this model. We have a happy with the thumbs up gesture. So I'm going to be showing you how to tie expressions to gestures. I have the peace sign which is cute. I have the fists, which is angry or like kind of unimpressed. I have the point, which is like, ah, oh, oh my gosh, surprise. And then I have the rock and roll, which is my super Saiyasan. I don't have the hair hidden for this, so it just kind of looks ridiculous. And those are some of the emotes that I set up. So there will be a total of seven emotes to seven different gestures. You can do up to even 14, assigning different emotes to different hands, but I have the same face expression to each hand gesture on each hand. That's what it's gonna look like. Let's move on over to Unity so that you can learn how to get emotes for your VRM model in VRChat. So first we're going to create the actual animations for our character. So you're going to go into the hierarchy over here on the left, click your model, and then you're going to click Control D on your keyboard to duplicate the model, or you can right click and click duplicate as well. Now we're going to go ahead and select our duplicated model here. And just for confusion, actually, let's go back to the first model to avoid confusion, not for confusion, LOL. <laughs> we're going to turn off the first one and we'll turn that back on later, but make sure that one's turned off just so we're not messing up the original model. We want to make sure we're doing all of our animations on this copied version. Now that we have our copy highlighted, you're going to go into the animation window here. We're going to click create and let's create the name of this one. I'm just going to call this happy Saya. You can do any face expression you really want. We're going to be pulling from the blend shapes or blend shapes is basically another name or can be another name for face expressions or something changing on the avatar. We're going to be using the blend shapes that Vroid Studio, where you most likely made your model or your VRM model, we're going to be using those blend shapes that have already been provided. That's the nice thing about a program like Vroid Studio that gives your avatar these blend shapes already, because if you didn't have these, then you would have to go and create all of these in a 3D program like Maya or Blender or anything else for making 3D models. But with our VRM model, if you made it with Vroid Studio, you're already going to have a ton of different blend shapes. And if you wanted to customize them even more, then you would want to dive into your blender skills for that. So we'll call this Happy Saya. I am pretty familiar with the blend shapes we already have, and we're going to take a look at a big list here, that, and you'll be the experiment with this to see what kind of expression you want to get based on what we already have. We're going to go ahead and click save, and now you're going to click this little arrow to the left of your copied model. We're going to click body, and you should be able to find blend shapes here. So if you don't have that open, just click this little arrow, it will drop down, and these are all the blend shapes that actually came with the model. And this VRC V sill. So for example, this does not come with a VRM model, but we, these blend shapes were created when we converted from the first video, when we converted the VRM model into Unity to be a VR chat model. Cause VR chat needs specific blend shapes. VRoid studio models need specific blend shapes. It's all dependent on what the final product or what you're doing with the model, what it needs to have on that back end. So since I know I'm going to be doing happy, we're going to click this record button next down here and you're going to see our model. I'm just going to scroll out with zoom wheel and hold alt on my keyboard to drag down. And I'm going to zoom back in with my scroll wheel so we can see her face expression during this time. And we're going to, <laughs> that sounded so like businessy. During this time, we're gonna go ahead and go to the, let's see, joy. So this says I, you have, you can do all, which is every expression together. Or if you wanna manipulate individual expressions, say for the sigh happy, I wanna do the joy, the eyes closed, but then I want her mouth to also be, to be the fun expression, just smiling. Like I don't want it open wide like that. I just wanna smile. So we're gonna drag this. And also I'm realizing I'm in the way here. Here, so let me move myself a little bit. But you can see I'm just dragging it up to 100. Make sure you drag it up to 100. And I just want to move the eyebrows as well. So we're just going to move the brow fun up as well. So this is going to be connected to the peace sign gesture. Now there are different gestures in VR chat. We're going to take a look at them. But peace sign is one of the ones. So I know lots of people usually do like cute anime eyes closed with peace signs. It's really whatever you want it to be. So this is what I want to be hooked up with peace sign. So this is great. And now we can go ahead. You don't even, I technically don't even need these ones that say zero. Like I could just delete those out of there if I wanted this to look cleaner over here. And then I'll go ahead and stop recording there. And now we'll go back to our main model, click on the project folder and you should see the animation, which is this little triangle here, pop up in your main assets folder. And something to double check, make sure this loop time is checked 
effect on so that it will continuously play because you don't want your expression to be like normal then happy normal then happy like every second right but if you wanted it on a timer or something more advanced to be happening then you wouldn't want it to loop time but we do want it to for the static face expression okay awesome now we're gonna go ahead and move on to how to actually hook this up to your hand gesture and at the end of the video I'm gonna be doing walking you through more step by step and process if you want to stick around for a little bit more of the hand holding hand holding but if you feel like you have it then you'll be able to move on after I show you this next step let's go ahead and move on to hooking this all up so you're gonna go to the left over here and go to the packages folder and you want to find the VR chat SDK avatars then we'll go into the samples folder AV3 demo assets we'll go to animation controllers and we're gonna find the one that says you'll look down here to be able to see what it says the avatar v3 hands layer 2 I already made a duplicate of this at another time so that's why I have a one that doesn't have the two and one that does have the two so I can just duplicate either of these we want to save all the information in here and make it not destructive which is why we're making a copy of it and not just directly grabbing this because in case you need to go back to it or reference it that's why we're gonna save it so we're just gonna go ahead and click on this you can right click and now once we click on this go ahead and click control D on your keyboard to duplicate and as I can see now I have one that says layer 2 space 1 because it's just made another one here so we'll go ahead and click this so now we can grab this scroll up on the left side grab this drop drop that straight into your assets folder and then go back to assets and we'll see it here now we're gonna go ahead and right click on this and rename and I'm just gonna call it sapphire FX you can name it the name of your character FX and then you'll double click this to open it and if the animator tab is not showing up which shows us this info you can go up to window animation animator to get this and you can scroll between these different windows here by clicking just like that next we want to delete the avatar mask on each of these layers here so we're gonna click the settings wheel click on the mask and once you see it highlighted in blue go ahead and click delete on your keyboard until it says none and then we'll do the same for this click the gear wheel click on here it's blue delete right hand click on here it's blue delete next for the left hand we're gonna select all states by clicking in this blank space and dragging till they all highlight blue hold shift on your keyboard to also grab idle too and uncheck the motion time parameter here so that should select it off of all of them at once and we're gonna do the same thing for right hand click on over here highlight all of these guys shift click add idle and we're gonna uncheck parameter for that as well we'll go back to left hand now and again to move around here I'm just holding the middle mouse button now we're gonna go through each of these gestures and we're we're going to remove the motion that's currently in there so click on fist click here till it's blue click delete until it says none and we're just gonna do that and go through each single one we're gonna just click and delete boop, 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 boop. we will be deleting and then we can go to right hand middle mouse button to move over click on fist go ahead and delete one at a time each of them I want to see we can test it let's highlight these three and see nope see I can't delete them if I'm highlighting them at, at all the same time so we just have to do one at a time which is okay because we got some time okay and for all parts you don't have to do anything with that one let's go back to left hand oh and we'll also want to go through each of them and select right defaults could have mentioned that earlier ha uh -huh. sorry <laughs> okay so right defaults just make sure we continue to go ahead and select that actually trick or treat it's close to Halloween I made you do it again more like this video is a treat but also has a trick <laughs> yeah uh, this is why I do tutorials and not comedy streams or videos and now we can assign our animation to a specific gesture so I'll go back up here on the left side click assets and I'm gonna click on peace sign like I said I wanted my peace sign for my character to equal happy Saya. so we'll go ahead and drag this animation and just drop that right on the motion folder and we're gonna do that for each of these so you can have one two three four five six seven seven different expressions with the left hand and another whole seven with the right hand and I'm not super into the VR chat like deep coding knowledge area I don't know what else to call it but I'm pretty sure there's ways that you can probably add even more customization it's there's quite a lot of customization but for the basic level here know that you, there's a total with the method I'm showing you currently and through this video where you can make up to 14 different combo of expressions and hand together I'm only gonna make seven because I'm just gonna assign the same so since we I signed happy side a piece on the left hand I'm gonna do the same thing for the right hand so see how it says none I need to make sure I'm gonna 
a sign it to both, but you can do something different if you want more expressions. But I want peace sign for both just to save some time here. Maybe I can go back later and edit it more to my liking. Now say we want to create another animation. I'm going to go ahead and click back on my duplicate here. We'll go to scene animation and I'm going to click this drop down here and click create new clip. Next we're going to do surprise Saya as the next one and I'll click save for that. And I want to hit record and it's going to move her again over here. And I'm just going to alt scroll wheel so I can see her face and we'll click body to go back to our blend shapes. And I want to do surprise face expression. I like this one alone. So we'll just go ahead and leave that unclick record, go back to project. And now we can see the surprise Saya animation in the assets folder. We're going to go back to animator, make sure you have the FX layer clicked, and then we'll go ahead and select left hand surprise. I want to be when she's pointing saying like, oh my gosh, look at that. And we'll drag that on there. And then right hand, we'll drag this one on to point as well. There you go. And I'm going to walk through the rest of these and do a few different more and experiment a little bit. So let's go back to scene click on Saya animation and let's create a new clip. Next, I'm going to do an angry Saya. This will be for her putting her hand in a fist and we'll click save. I'm going to scroll out so we can see her. We'll click record. Then I'll click body again to see the blend shapes and angry will be this one. That's just moving her brows. Oh yeah, because that wasn't the all one. Angry will be like this. I don't want to. It's like overlapping her eyelids. <laughs> Maybe I can mix this with something else. <laughs> Yes, very upset. This kind of looks upset and kind of like a really face. I really like that. So let's leave that one and I'm just going to delete this other one that had zero to make this a little bit cleaner of an animation. We'll stop recording. All right. And then we're going to pop back over to the animator. And again, if you're not seeing these menus, make sure you have the FX name of your FX selected and we'll go ahead and select fist. And I want to drag angry Saya onto fist for both of them. Okay. And then we have the open hand. Let's see what else we have point piece we did so rock and roll what I want to do is I have a special <laughs> blend shape that my friend made that I commissioned them which is ridiculous but absolutely we're doing it we'll click on Saya go back to scene go to animation create new clip Saya Saiyan I'm not even sure if that's how you spell Saiyan but that's how I'm spelling it Saiyan Saya Saiyan oh I need to put Saiyan Saiyan Saya <laughs> save. And for this one, let's hit record, go back to the blend shapes here. And I have the special one. We're going to go down to si super size saying, but I don't know how to turn off her other hair. Let's see. Oh, maybe we can't turn off her other hair. That's sad. So I don't have a blend shape to turn off the hair. So here's a learning lesson, right? I'd want to go to blender and I'd want to make a blend shape for turning off her hair so that this is all connected and that's okay. That is learning. So we'll just click stop recording when that's done. We'll go back to our animator, click project down here. We have Saiyan Saya. Make sure to click that FX layer. We'll go to rock and roll, drag in Saiyan Saya. Rock and roll, Saiyan Saya. Okay, we have three more, open, gone, and thumbs up. Let's do open hands. Actually, open I don't want a face expression for, so we'll leave that. For just the gun, we can do maybe a smug, kind of a smug look. So let's go back to animation, drop this down, create new clip, smug Saya. Save that. Click on her copy go back to scene click the record button click body and then we'll want to do something that's smug so i'll probably combine a few different ones here probably close her eyes a bit whoops i kind of like the raising mouth i think that's kind of funny this is ridiculous and i'm doing it literally just for the meme we just need like one eyebrow down and one eyebrow up so we need to find brow like that oh my gosh that is literally ridiculous but so funny <laughs> It's like, <laughs> I'm, yep, that's the one. It's It looks ridiculous, but it works. So we'll just stop recording there. I'm just going to delete these ones that say zero to clean it up. Whoops. Not what I want to do. Delete, 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 delete. Okay, go back to project, animator. Let's click on the FX layer, open these guys, and we're going to go to gun and grab smug Saya. Smug Saya. Gun, smug Saya. And then thumbs up. We can probably do something pretty simple for something I do want to add a side note. I did test out the peace sign the happy Saya, where her eyes were closed so let's just hop over to this one really quick and something that i did notice with this is her irises were being seen behind the blend shape sometimes silly stuff like this will happen with like a vroid model because it's just not necessarily a highly customized model that was made from scratch where a experienced 3d modeler would know to hide those express those irises or something along those lines so what we want to do is i'm just going to go back to we have happy Saya in the animator and i'm going to make sure that the iris 
hide is on. So let's go ahead and look for hide. Iris hide. So we'll go ahead and hide the irises here. We'll just click play so we can see it. Okay, we'll click. I'm going to hide the iris and I'm also going to hide the highlight. We want those to both. Oh, wait. Okay. Make sure it's recording again. And I'm just going to make sure that the both of these iris hide and highlight hide are up. So now those got added over here and then we'll stop recording. And that should fix that problem. Now we have one more to do, which is going to be the thumbs up. So let's just do Joy Saya. I'll just call it for now. And then we'll go ahead and click record. Make sure we're on the body layer, which we are. And we will put her expression, just a normal happy face expression there. And that should be good. We'll hit stop, go to the animator, go back to project. Project, hit the click thumbs up and drag in the joy saya and we'll do the same for the left hand thumbs up joy saya okay we have all of the animations i wanted to do so we're going to click on the copy and we're going to uncheck this in the inspector just to hide it if you ever need to bring it back to do more animation you just click that again hide that and we'll go back to the first one and recheck that in the inspector so we can see her once more once more and now i'll scroll down to the fx file yours will probably say gesture fx or something mine says missing because i deleted an earlier version of the file because I had already done this before making the video. So there's nothing in there for me. I'm just going to drag the Sia FX, drop it in there, and then we're good to go. So then we'll go over to the VR Chat SDK and upload the model. I do walk through that in the first part of this video, in the first part of this video on my channel, but we'll go ahead and do this again. So we'll just run through it. You can name it, give it a description, check content warnings, of course, and set it to private if you want only you to have access. If you want other people to be able to have access, you can change it to public. You can select any thumbnail you want. So if you have fan art or a piece of art for your character, you can put it there and it shows you what the image size is. So do that in your image editing program. Otherwise, you can just click capture and grab a picture from the scene. We'll click capture there. Click save changes. All right, PNG Saya here to take over for live 2D Saya because she was covering important information again. The joys of being a VTuber. So once you have all this named up here, we're going to scroll all the way on down and you're going to check this box right here. The information provided above is accurate. Da, 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 da. We'll click build and publish and you're going to have quite a bit of waiting time. Go get some boba tea, paint your nails, do your hair, do something fun, come back, and then you will see this blue bar rolling, and we'll eventually see some green text over here for the build being successful. And then after that, we're going to hop over into VR chat, and I'm going to show you how to select your avatar. And there it is, upload succeeded. All right, I'll see you in VR chat. So to access your avatar, you'll click B on your controller or open your VR chat menu. Then I'll go to avatars, go to uploaded, and and here is, it should show the thumbnail of the one that you made earlier, and then you'll click change into avatar. And if you want to bring up a mirror, if you don't have one in your world, you can hold down B, go to options, go to personal mirror, turn on the mirror, and now you can see my angry look or my happy look with peace sign. And chances are, if you're a VTuber, you're probably looking to learn how to stream in VR chat. If you want some help with that, I actually have a video that teaches you how to do just that. Make sure to check this one out next.